In this tutorial, we'll look at how to assemble a sequence or timeline from multiple clips. Now there's a couple different ways that you could approach this. If we click on the Timelines tab, we see right now there are no timelines, but you could right click and choose Create New Timeline. At this point, you're presented with a box asking you to name your timeline and whether you want that timeline to be empty. The default is to create an empty timeline. But if you uncheck this box, then it will use every single clip that's available in the media pool. If we now zoom out in our timeline, which I'm doing by using the keyboard shortcut Shift-Z, Shift-Z is the shortcut for Fit to Window. We could now see that all of our clips are end-to-end, -end, one after the other. But right now, we're using the full range of our clips. I'm going to switch into List View in our timelines. We could see that one timeline is already there. And I'll right-click and choose to create a new timeline again. Again, I'll uncheck Empty Timeline, but this time I'll choose Use Selected Mark In and Out. Now when you choose Create New Timeline, and I'm going to differentiate it this time by renaming this timeline. We'll call this Selected Ranges. Now I have a new timeline that's only the portions that have been marked. Some of the clips I didn't mark sections for, so it's using the full clip. But those where I did mark sections in advance, it is only using those sections. Alternately, another way to create a timeline is to go to the media pool and select the range of clips that you actually want to use to build the timeline. You may not want every clip in the sequence, but you still want to do a quick assembly of multiple clips. If you shift click or command click on multiple clips and then right click over one of those selected clips, Notice there's an option at the bottom that says Create Timeline Using Selected Clips. Again, it's giving us a new timeline name. This time I'll rename the sequence Selected Clips Timeline. And by default, notice that the Use Selected Mark In and Out is already enabled, but you could always choose to use the entire clip or just the selected marked portions as well. Create new timeline, and this time you only get a timeline of just those clips that you selected. If you want to build clips in a specific order, we'll look at that in the next tutorial.